The USS Indianapolis by Daniel Gutierrez. In late World War II, there was a ship named the USS Indianapolis. It carried crucial supplies for the first atomic bomb to be used. This ship was first used in 1942 in the South Pacific near Japanese-owned waters. On February 20th, 1942, American ships were attacked by bombers in the next battle, 16 different planes were shot down by the Lexington. All the ships were undamaged and were able to get back safely. Then, in 1943, the Indianapolis supported the capturing of Amchitka, which gave the Allies a base in the Aleutian Islands. On February 19th of that year, the Indianapolis and two other battleships went patrolling the island and found a Japanese cargo ship that was destroyed by the Indianapolis. Then, in 1944, the ship met other ships in her task force on D-Day. This group went on to attack an atoll and supported the soldiers getting onto the island by shooting batteries on shore. This helped the soldiers tremendously to take this island over. Even though it was not the most important island to take over, it was still on a very important day, D-Day. In March and April, the ship was attacking the West Carolines when on April 1st, Japanese planes attacked the American fleet. But they were taken out with any, without any damage done to the ships. The Indianapolis destroyed its second plane. It was a torpedo bomber in total. 160 planes were shot down. This attack prevented the Japanese forces from interrupting the landings of Allied troops on New Guinea. Finally, in 1945, she made the story that exists to be one of the saddest naval stories in history. The ship left San Francisco Bay with the atomic bomb that would be dropped on Hiroshima. Three weeks later, the boat raced to the island of Tinian unguarded where the bomb was dropped off on July 26. It was mission accomplished. Then from Tinian, the boat was scheduled to go to Guam and eventually the worst naval disaster in history. Anyways, from Guam, it was scheduled to go to the Laity Gulf in the Philippines in order to get ready for the invasion of Japan. The Indianapolis traveling unprotected through a no man's land filled with sharks and Japanese submarines. It was a risky trip. At around midnight, the ship was torn in half by torpedoes launched by a Japanese submarine. It took about 10 minutes for the boat to sink. Of the crew of 1,196 men, an estimated of only 900 survived. The explosion, but the worst was yet to come. As the men were in the water, they struggled towards floating debris, rafts, or a life jacket. Others were forced to tread water to survive until a jacket or raft became available by the death of one who was using it. But death by shark wouldn't come until the next morning, and then kept on attacking the whole time. No alarms were set off when the ship did not arrive at its destination. The tragedy had remained unnoticed for four days. While survivors were struggling to live, finally one day, by some stroke of luck, a Navy recon plane flying over practicing saw the survivors and warned other ships. The ships then rushed over to the location and picked up the remainder of survivors. Now I will show a clip from the movie Jaws talking about the USS Indianapolis. <laughs> 